the pond. There are many kinds of ponds in North America, such as mountain ponds, farm ponds, metal stream ponds, and kettle ponds. <coughs> a pond is a small body of water that is a home for many plants and animals. Kettle and mountain ponds are formed by glaciers, while meadow stream ponds are formed by a stream spreading out. Farm ponds are made by humans. Trees like cedar, maple, and willow grow around ponds. Short and tall grasses, bushes, and flowers also grow around ponds. There are three types of plants that grow in ponds. Emerging, floating, and submerged plants. There are many animals that live around ponds, such as raccoons, deer, geese, frogs, and snakes. There are also animals that live in the pond, such as alligators, tadpoles, turtles, and crayfish. Ponds are an important part of our environment and home for many plants and animals. This is Amart reporting from Mill Pond Park. And when I was walking, I spied a Mallard duck. And now, here are some fun facts about the Mallard duck. The Mallard duck by Amar. The Mallard duck lives in the pond habitat and uses its physical adaptations to survive. The Mallard duck's bill traps in food and lets the water drain out. Its bill is made of rough material that helps eat food such as gravel and shells. Another adaptation is the mallard duck's bill helps it get water and its lungs help it to breathe. A female mallard duck's feathers help it to protect its eggs from predators and feathers and its feathers help it to protect itself. The mallard duck is a very interesting animal that uses its physical adaptations to survive. The mallard duck also has many behavioral adaptations that help it survive in the pond habitat. The mallard duck dips its head for food, and if it's really hungry, it dips its whole head for f he whole head in the water. Another behavioral adaptation is the mallard duck dip drinks the water from the pond. The mother mallard duck protects its ducklings by pretending it has a broken wing and lures the predators out of the pond, then runs back to its babies. When it starts to get cold, the mallard duck flies south for the winter. A female mallard duck's feathers are camouflaged with its surroundings. Hi, my name is Brianna Norton, and I'm reporting live from Mill Pond Park, and I'm getting bit by all these mosquitoes. While I was walking around, I spotted the amazing animal, the salamander. Here are some cool facts about my animal. Hi, my name is Brianna, and you are going to learn all about the salamander. The salamander lives in the pond habitat and uses many physical adaptations to survive. Salamander's food is gulped down whole and alive. Salamanders lick up water like cats. All baby salamanders are born with gills that fall off and then they grow lungs to breathe on land. Some species of salamanders have poison in their skin to make them taste bad. 
Salamander is a very interesting animal that uses many parts of its body to help it survive. The salamander also has many behavior adaptations that help it survive in the pond. Some wood puppy salamanders walk on the bottom of the pond to find food. So when a salamander finds their food, they go put down hole and alive. If salamanders get thirsty, they go to the pond and drink water. The young salamanders must swim to the surface when they lose their gills because they cannot breathe underwater without them. Salamanders shake their tail in the air if they are getting threatened. This tells other salamanders to go and hide from predators. The spots they like to hide in are under bushes and in mud. There are many behavior adaptations that the salamander uses in its habitat in order for it to survive. Hi, my name is Haley Pereira, and I'm reporting from Mill Pond Park. I and I am looking in the dirt for a very interesting animal, the garter snake. Here are some facts about my animal. Hi, my name is Haley, and welcome to the wonderful world of the garter snake. The garter snake lives in the pond habitat and uses many physical adaptations to survive. A garter snake uses its mouth to swallow its food whole. A large garter snake grabs prey with its teeth. It uses venom to slow down its prey. A garter snake uses its mouth to drink water. It uses its lungs to breathe air. A garter snake confuses its enemies with the stripes on its body. It releases a smelly liquid when it's caught. The liquid comes from a gland in its tail. The garter snake is an interesting animal that uses many body parts to survive. The garter snake has many behavioral adaptations to survive in the pond. The garter snake uses its mouth to eat its food whole. Venom helps to slow its prey so they can eat it. They use their mouth to, and tongue to drink water. They use one lung to breathe air. A garter snake goes into its den to hide from its predators. A garter snake raises its head in an S-shaped to scare away enemies. Garter snakes hibernate with other snakes to stay warm. There are many behavioral adaptations that the garter snake uses in its habitat for, in order for it to survive. Hi, my name is Joel Spruce. I'm reporting from Mill Pond Park in Norton. I just saw something floating in water and had a sweaty shell. I just realized it was a snail. Here's some facts about the snail. The Snail by Jules. The snail lives in the pond habitat and uses many physical adaptations. Snails use their long foot to move. Snails also use their rough tongue to rip pieces of leaves to eat. Snails use their eye stalk to see and can pull them inside of, inside of their head when they see a pre predator coming. Snails have a lung sac to breathe air. Snails have a mouth to drink water. Another physical adaptation is their shell that helps protect 
them from predators like birds, insects, and fox. The shell also helps protect them from fish, ducks, and turtles. They use the shell to hide. Snails are great animals and they use their body parts to protect themselves. This, the snail also has many behavioral adaptations that help it survive in the pond. The snail hides during the daytime. Snails use, it, use their slime to make a hardened door for the shell to protect, it, protect itself. A snail moves by using its long foot. It moves very slowly. It breathes air by using its lung sac. A snail hides in the daytime to stay safe from predators like birds. It also uses slime to make a hardened door to protect itself from enemies and weather. Snails are great animals that use ma many behavioral adaptations to survive. Hi, my name is Mike Medina. I'm, I'm reporting from Mill Pond Park. I'm getting bit by hungry mosquitoes. There, um, I'm searching for a great animal. It is the turtle. I think I found it hiding under its shell. Here are some cool facts about my animal. Hi, my name is Michael. Welcome to the world of the turtle. Have you ever wondered what, how the turtle eats, breathes, or gets water? It uses many physical adaptations to survive. The turtle gets water by eating plants and drinking the water using its mouth. Turtle, turtles breathe air through their lungs. They eat food by ripping it up with their strong jaws and beak. Turtles are really interesting animals that use their body parts to survive in the pond habitat. The turtle has many behavioral adaptations to survive. To get food, they rip it open with their jaws and eat it. Once they want something to drink, they tear open cacti to get water that is inside the cacti. The turtle breathes air out of their lungs. To protect itself, the turtle curls up, hides from its enemies. When a turtle is scared, it bites its predator. Turtles are very interesting animals that use many behavioral adaptations to survive. Hi, my name is Sarah. I'm reporting from Mill Pond in Newington, Connecticut. I was playing on the swings and I saw a beaver. Here are some facts about the beaver. Hi, my name is Sarah. I'm going to be telling you about the beaver. The beaver lives in the pond habitat and uses many physical adaptations to survive. Beavers have small ears and eyes, but their hearing is excellent, and their eyesight is great at night. To, to get water, it goes to the pond and drinks. It uses its lungs and its nose to breathe, to breathe air. It uses its excellent sense of smell 
to sniff out predators and slap its tail to against, against the water to warn other beavers of, of danger. Beavers use their claws and long sharp teeth to eat tree bark. To keep safe and warm, beavers go into their lodge or dam. Beavers use many physical adaptations to help them survive. The beaver has many behavioral adaptations that help it survive in the pond. They eat tree bark while cutting down a tree. They get water while eating water plants. It can store a lot of air in its lungs. It can build a dam to protect itself from enemies. Beavers build the entrance underwater. They do most of the feeding underwater where they are safest from predators. The beaver has many behavioral adaptations to help it survive in the pond. Hi, my name is Marion Lindgrove. I am at Mill Pond Park. My animal is a dragonfly. He's at his habitat. Let's watch him fly around the pond. Here are more facts about dragonflies. The Dragonfly by Maya. Physical adaptation. The dragonfly lives in the pond habitat and use many physical adaptations to survive. The dragonfly uses the mouth part to catch food, its food such as mosquitoes. It uses its wings to fly faster than the mosquito and catch its prey. They also have a special grabber for catching food, the dragonfly gets water through the end of its tail. Dragonfly nymphs have gills to breathe underwater. Adults dragonfly have tiny holes on their bodies to breathe. The dragonfly bites with its mouth to escape its enemies. They also have a hard cover on the outside of the body to protect themselves. The dragonfly is very interesting animal that uses many parts of its body to help it survive. The behavior adaptation the dragonfly also gives behavioral adaptation that helps it to live in a pond. The dragonfly flies fast, catch food. They can pause in the air and change directions to catch food. Dragonfly drinks water through their mouth, it breathes. It flew tiny holes in chain direction to catch food. The dragonfly bites predators to escape. They can flush their body in the water to catch food. There are hair adaptations that the dragonfly uses in its habitat in order for it to survive.